Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. This is the second part of the electrocardiograph series video. In this video, we will look into the electrical activity of heart, components of ECG machines, and reading of ECG graph paper. Let's start the video with the electrical activity of heart and PQRS complex. The electrical signal starts in a group of cells at the top of your heart called the synostrial, or SA node. The signal then travels down through your heart, triggering first your two atria and then your two ventricles. In a healthy heart, the signal travels very quickly through the heart, allowing the chambers to contract in a smooth, orderly fashion. The heartbeat happens as follows. 1. The SA node, called the pacemaker of the heart, sends out an electrical impulse. 2. The upper heart chambers, or the atria, contract. 3. The AV node sends an impulse into the ventricles. 4. The lower heart chambers, or ventricles, contract or pump. 5. The SA node sends another signal to the atria to contract, which starts the cycle over again. This cycle of an electrical signal, followed by a contraction, is one heartbeat. SA node and atria. When the SA node sends an electrical impulse, it triggers the following process. The electrical signal travels from your SA node through muscle cells in your right and left atria. The signal triggers the muscle cells that can make your atria contract. The atria contract, pumping blood into your left and right ventricles. Let's look into PQRST complex. When you are looking at an ECG paper or EKG, you are seeing electrical impulses generated by your heart that are being transferred to clamp and bulb electrodes, which in turn display those impulses on a screen for you to analyze. Before you can start analyzing heart rhythms, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricle tachycardia, etc., you must know the basics about the PQRST wave. Now, let's break each part of this strip down and talk about what each area represents. You always read the PQRST wave starting from left to right. First is P wave. The first little hump or bump you see is known as the P wave. The SA node is responsible for this. The P wave represents atrial depolarization. Second is QRS complex. The next area you see is a big spike. This spike is called the QRS complex. The bundle of his, bundle branches, and Purkinje fibers are responsible for this. The QRX complex represent ventricle depolarization, contractions of the ventricles. And the third wave is T wave. After this spike, you will see a bump shortly after the complex. This bump is called the T wave and is caused by the ventricles relaxing. The ventricles are so large that when they contract, depolarize, they form a large electrical impulse that presents the QRS complex. Therefore, because they are so large, when they relax or repolarize, they form a small electrical impulse that presents as the T wave. Components of ECG machine. The four major components of an ECG machine are the clamp electrode, bulb electrode, patient cable, and the machine. Let's look into bulb electrodes. Each electrode consists of an electrically conductive electrolyte gel and a silver silver chloride conductor. The gel typically contains potassium chloride, sometimes silver chloride as well, to permit electron conduction from the skin to the wire and to the electrocardiogram. The second component is the clamp electrodes. The reusable peripheral clamp electrodes for an ECG electrocardiograph have features that make them absolutely reliable during signal recording with all different ECG electrocardiograph devices on the market. The electrode metallic part is made of silver-coated material, allowing a safe and clear signal transmission. The peripheral electrodes, thanks to screw and clip connections, can be connected to all ECG electrocardiograph devices and monitors with patient cable, which have plug or snap connections. The third component is the patient cable. Patient cable is also known as ECG cable, which will interface between electrodes and machine, carries the electrical impulses to machine CPU board to analysis and display the ECG complex. 
And the fourth component is cardiograph. Cardiographs consist of CPU, the printer assembly, the user interface to interact with the machine. The machine analyzes the ECG electrical complex for various intervals and displays to the user. The user can transfer the ECG to his system, print, or store the ECG in the cardiograph itself. Now, let's look into ECG graph paper. An ECG is a graphical display of electrical energy generated by the heart over time. ECG graph paper records cardiac electrical activity at a rate of 25 mm per second. The paper is divided into small 1 mm squares with thicker lines every 5 mm. It follows then that the width of an ECG tracing is a measurement of time. For example, a horizontal accumulation of 25 small 1 mm squares measures electrical activity over one second, as does five large squares produced by the thick lines. A six-second strip contains a cross-section of 150 small one millimeter squares, six seconds times 25 small squares per second, or 30 large squares. This was the last part of the Cardiograph series videos. If you are watching this video for the first time, I must suggest that you please watch the first part for more information on ECG machines. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.